And welcome to our special coverage this election night. Today, voters have decided the future not only of Cincinnati, but of schools and towns across Ohio. We turn first to the race for Cincinnati mayor. Let's take a look. With nearly all the votes counted, John Cranley has nearly 60% of the vote. Roxanne Qualls has more than 40% of the vote. Cranley, the winner. And we begin our series of live team reports with Tom McKee with the Cranley campaign. Tom? John Cranley is speaking right now. Let's go to the podium and see what he has to say. John? And my wife's family is here. And we want to say thank you to the voters and the people of this city. We believe we're going to bring this city together and we're going to work on uniting the city to move it forward in a way that works for all people. We're going to work in a bipartisan fashion. We're going to reach across the aisle. We're going to focus on the priorities that we think will get this city back together. What is that vision? We want this city to be the best city in America. Yeah. To be where every family and every business wants to locate, every family wants to raise its family. And we know we can get there. No city has the advantages that we have if we just use them. And here's what we're going to do. We are going to focus, of course, on job creation. Right. We're going to work with the chambers. We're going to work with the, with, the, with the community to build jobs and bring businesses to Cincinnati. And we're going to reduce work to reduce the poverty rate over the next All five right. years. Yeah. 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 Second, yeah. there are far too many shootings and violence in this city. And we are going to put more cops and firefighters on the street. Yeah. And we are going to reduce yeah. those shootings. Third, we are going to get the city's fiscal house in order. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to do that by balancing the budget in a real way. So we are not going to sell off resources. We're going to keep our resources, invest in the people of Cincinnati. We're going to get out of a project like the streetcar, which is too expensive. Too expensive. I also want to say that we are going to find solutions to bring this city together. Yes. There are ways the streetcar supporters have all the best intentions and their hearts in the right place. It's just the solution they've got is too expensive. We're going to find an alternative. We're going to find an alternative that will build upon the vibrancy of downtown and create a 24 7 nightlife. We're going to build a more inclusive city. As Alicia Reese and Christopher Smitherman know, and, and Dwight Tillery and so many others, we can't succeed with the kind of disparity we have between the black and the white community and the Hispanic community. So we're going to build a community that works for everyone. And lastly, we're going to we're going to say we're going to work to revitalize all of our neighborhoods because, as I know, in Price Hill and so many other neighborhoods, these neighborhoods can be revitalized. So let me finish by saying two things. First, that I honor deeply the service that my opponent, Vice Mayor Roxanne Qualls, has given to this city. And I'd like to, I'd like to give I'd like everyone to, let's applaud again her service to this community. She has given most of her life to public service. And lastly, let me say once again, thank you. I am humbled, I am honored, and I'm going to work to bring this city together and move it forward because this city has given so much to my wife and me and to our families, and we feel a debt and an obligation to give back. Thank you all so very much. John Cranley. John Cranley in his victory speech speaking very graciously about his opponent, Roxanne Qual.